Hello folks, it's Abfielder here, back with another Minecraft tutorial video, and today we're going to do a beginner's guide to the item scroller mod. This is a video a few people have asked me to do. Now firstly, the item scroller mod is a really cool mod with some cool quality of life kind of Minecraft hacks. As you saw in the background there, I'm able to transfer matching items with a single click from my inventory to the chest, and all the items in my inventory as well. Aside from that, you can do cool stuff like chuck all those matching items on the ground. You can do a lot of mass crafting to make mass crafting faster, and you can improve villager trading as well. Before we get into the details of the video, some of you might need to know how to install fabric and fabric mods. I've already done a video on that very subject, so I'm not going to go in depth in it here. There will be a link in the top right hand corner to that video right now and there'll be a link down in the description. There'll also be a link to the item scroller download in the description below as well. So with all that covered, let's get into the features of item scroller. And the first thing is how to open the config menu, which is I plus C. And then you've got your free tabs up the top. You've got your generic, your toggles and your hot keys. Now, you really probably don't need to mess with anything in here. Maybe that villager trades favorite where I've set a hotkey. You might want to set a hotkey for that. Other than that, everything is set to the default. If you are on a spigot server, then you might want to have a look at these rate packet limits because there are some settings with spigot that might cause you problems. I don't play on a spigot server. I just wanted to let you know if you do keep these in mind, you might need to, to have a little play with these to get this working. So other than that, as I said, village of trade favorites, you might want to set a hotkey for everything else. Just leave well alone for now. So the first thing we're going to cover is how to move a single slot or a, a single item st or stack. All you need to do is hold down left shift and then single left click with the mouse and that will move that item across between your inventories as I'm doing on the screen now. Left shift and left click on the mouse. Next up then, how to move all matching items between inventories. So you can see I've got a bunch of command blocks here and I also have a couple of stacks of sticky pistons. Simply hold down the left alt key and left click on one of them and then it moves all the matching items. So you saw I did the command blocks with a single click there. I'm able to move them back and I'm able to do the same with the sticky pistons. So that was the left alt key and just single click on the item of your choice. And what if we want to move everything with one click? Well, that's doable as well. Simply hold down left alt, left shift, and just click. And then everything will transfer to the chest. And you can do the same back to your inventory as well. Handy when you're going AFK, that one. Okay, what about chucking all matching items on the floor? Simply hover over the item that you want to drop on the floor and then it's Control Shift plus Q. And you can do that from your inventory or from the chest. So Control Shift plus Q whilst hovering over that item with your mouse cursor will chuck everything on the floor. This one comes in useful later with mass crafting of items. Just quickly then, a few more ways to drop items onto the floor. If you hold left shift plus Q whilst hovering over the item, it'll chuck the entire stack out like we're doing on the screen right now. If whilst hovering over it, just that last little bit there, left shift and then press Q without holding it, it'll just chuck single items at a time. Last up, if you hold left shift plus Q and click the mouse button, keep the mouse button held down, just hover over everything, you can chuck the lot out as well. Right then, mass crafting. So what I'm gonna show you is how to configure this up and how to use it. But then what I'm gonna show you is how I use it in survival mode, because the more items you have, the more powerful it becomes. So open up the crafting bench then, and we wanna craft these into the gold ingots. So hold down the A key and you get this GUI. Now you can use your mouse wheel to scroll through these boxes because there's more than one page. And if you go back to page one, you can then also just left click on the box you want to select. Select number one, let go of the A key. Now select the recipe that you want, which in this case is the gold ingot. Over there, now you need to hold the A key and then using the mouse scroll wheel, click the mouse scroll wheel and that will put it into that recipe item number one. That's the only time you need to do that unless you want to change the recipe in number one. Once you've done that, control, Alt and C will craft up your entire inventory into gold ingots and it'll drop them on the floor. Right, let's give myself a bunch of gold nuggets again and let's go back into that crafting bench. It remembers the last recipe you selected. So Control, Alt and C and it'll craft everything again. 
Let's show you again, but let's go to gold blocks this time. So hold the A key, select the number two box, let go of the A key. Now hold the A key using the mouse wheel, click the mouse wheel on that gold block there. You can see it's selected. Now just do Control Alt plus C and it'll craft them into the gold blocks. Right, I'm gonna just set myself up how I use this in survival. So this is my gold farm storage. I've been here doing a longer AFK session and this is full to the brim of the gold nuggets. So if you remember earlier, I showed you how to chuck items on the floor and that was Control Shift plus Q. Simply go into all the chests, chuck it all on the floor, Control Shift plus Q. And then you can simply stand in it to pick it all up, like so. And now I move out of the stack and I'll tell you why in a second. Make sure you've got your, your right recipe selected and then it's Control up plus C and that will mass craft it. Look how quick that is to craft up entire inventories. Now the reason I don't stand in it is because when I craft everything up, what tends to happen is you end up with like a couple of items in your hand and it, it kind of just messes up a little bit. So I find it better to pick the items up and then just swiftly move out the way and do the control all plus C. Once you're finished, you can just go and pick all your items up and if it's gold ingots, select your number two recipe by holding down that A key, control all plus C, and then convert it all into the gold blocks as well. So villager trading then, and the first thing I'm gonna show you, I hope this is item scroller. I've got a horrible feeling this could be vanilla Minecraft and I just never knew it. But anyway, it's a useful tip. So you just click on your villager to trade with him. And then to buy all of one item type, just right click on it and it'll buy it until the trade locks out. The way I used to do it was you left click on it and then you shift click there. And I think that's the default way of doing things. I don't think this right click is vanilla Minecraft. Let me know down in the comments. So yeah, just right click on the item you want and it'll buy it until the trade locks out. Okay, last up then is setting your favorite trades. And this makes trading really simple. There are two types of favorites. There are local favorites, which is local to an individual villager. And there is a global favorite, which is if, that, if another villager has that trade, it will apply to that villager too. So global favorites applies to all villagers with the trade. Local favorite applies to a single villager only. And it's going to be a little while to understand the behavior. So let me just get rid of some stuff out of my inventory. And let's head in here. Now, to set a favorite, all you need to do is use that mouse scroll wheel and click with the mouse scroll wheel on the item you want to set as a favorite. Now, if it's got a yellow dot, that means it's a local one. So it doesn't apply to the villager to the right here. And it won't apply to any of the others. Click that mouse wheel again to take that off. If we want to set a global favorite, then we hold left shift and click that mouse scroll wheel and it gives it a pink icon. And you can see that one's got it as well. He's got it. It's a global trade. Now, if you set a local trade, it will remove the global trade. Local trades take precedence. So you see, I can only see that local quartz pillar. It's removed that global trade. It's a lot to take in. So we're going to set the global trades mainly as how we're going to do this, but the principle is the same. So we have the, the chiseled stone block there set as a global trade. And you see if I set these two and I've done the wrong thing here, I've set those as local. So if I just click the mouse wheel again, they'll go hold shift, then click the mouse wheel. So it's the pink icon. You can see they've all got that as their favorites now. Now, if you remember early in the video, I said there was one hotkey you might want to set. So if you go into your hotkeys, I plus C, look for this villager trade favorites. It'll say none. Click on it, set what you want for your hotkey and then click in a blank bit of space. And I've set it to left control all plus T and I have no idea why. I'm going to set it to T. Then escape out. Click into your villager, click the T key or whatever you've set it to. And it'll just buy all those trades with one button until they're sold out. Isn't that good? Folks, we are at the end of this beginner's tutorial for the item scroller mod. Hope you found the video useful. If there's anything you want it clarifying, then just let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. You can also join us in the StrangeCraft Discord and we'll try and give you more help there if you need it. And we also discuss random Minecraft stuff as well, of course. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider giving it a like and also check out my other videos. I do a whole bunch of videos on Tweakaroo and Lightmatica. Consider giving the channel a subscribe as well. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, folks, I'm Ab Fielder. That's all I have time for. Goodbye.